Pull a few words. Well, um, first of all, thank you very much. Uh, Cece couldn't be here tonight, and uh, so I am a very uh, poor substitute for her. Um, but I uh, would like to uh, tell you a few things about her, because all of us at ProPublica and a lot of um, other people in this room who know her, uh, to know her is to, is to love her. Um, but first, uh, you should know that um, members of the judging panel do not, do not participate in um, any of the debates or voting when someone um, from uh, their organization is one of the finalists. Um, they simply leave the room or hang up the phone until the category is decided. Uh, and in fact, in this case, I didn't learn CC was a winner until hours after the judging finished. Second, you should know that everyone at ProPublica is thrilled that CC is um, receiving this award. She is one of the informal leaders of our uh, newsroom because she's a genius at all forms of data journalism and um, always ready to help her colleagues. Third, Cece, who was born in China, uh, but grew up, uh, moved to the U.S. when she was very young, and grew up in, uh, those of you who know the U.S. well, in the state of Minnesota, um, uh, trained at an early age to be a data journalist. Um, uh, the, the first major data, data project she remembers doing when she was about 19 years old, a student at Northwestern University. And uh, she produced an app that allowed her to compare every um, dorm room in um, Northwestern with every other dorm room to see which ones were bigger. And guess who got the biggest dorm room in, um, at uh, Northwestern? Finally, CC wanted um, everyone here to know how honored she is to receive this award and to be in the company of her fellow finalists. On her behalf, I thank you very much. Thank you very much, Paul.